black history moment you pointed out this Lanny Smoot guy I didn't know who this was until I realized this was the guy that some of my Disney friends have been talking about for ages mm -hmm. Lanny Smoot from Imagineering Imagineering is basically Disney's brain trust for creating great human interactive experiences I'll call it um I don't know a better way to describe what Imagineering does, but they create all the stuff like uh, when you're going to Disney, you see the animatronics, you see the different technologies they're putting into place. Some of it makes it into movies. Some of it's just for research and development. But int introduce this guy really quickly. Uh, oh, yeah. It's Black History Month. Lane Smoot is an Imagineer. He actually came from Bell Laboratories, which is, I work with, is basically offshoot of AT&T, the telephone company slash cellular surface now, and a great inventor who was instrumental in a lot of early patents around electric, electronic planning, camera prototypes and things of that nature. And I think the history was, if I remember reading some of this, is that he helped Disney with some of the work he did with this camera. And I guess it was able to allow people from home to change the angle of the television program they were watching at will. So basically a bit like stuff we do with remote control cameras, but you'd be able to do that back in what, in the early seventies or late seventies, eighties. And that was amazing technology. So Disney said, we want you come work for us. And to your point, being an Imagineer is like, basically you're right. It's a weird kind of title, but it's for lack of a better term, like a product, product market manager of in interesting things that people said can't be done to, 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 and you pretty much go off into wonderland and create something that Disney could potentially sell or, or position in their parks or, 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 or studios. And so this guy, he's just been with them for so long. And Lenny did has over 75 four plat patents alone at Walt Disney. And, and that in addition to the ones he had Bell as 106. So some of the things he created was the Madame Leota, the ability to float in the se seance room at the haunted mansion. So that flying head that you see, if you've ever been there before that's mm -hmm. floating around. He did the uh, magic play for interactive game experience on Disney cruises. I don't know exactly what that is, but I may have seen it before. And he was the one that created the realistic retractable lightsaber that you saw debuted at the star Wars galactic star cruisers. You may have saw some YouTubes of that where uh, Ray was the, the actress that played Ray had this retractable lightsaber was running around. I was like, oh, that's so realistic. I got to get me one. I think I forgot the uh, executive. I think he had one one time at the uh, Disney event. So, uh, so yeah, very instrumental guy, just very uh, uh, an innovator, man, and someone that we need to yeah. highlight and celebrate. Yeah, very recently, he was responsible for the hollow tile floor. I don't know if you've seen the guy walking on the, there's some tiles on the floor and they're made of little, rollers and basically the guy's walking in place because the rollers are allowing him to stand still and oh okay that's what that is that okay could, i was wondering yeah. yeah i know you're talking about now yeah so it's like they pop up and it's just i'm just walking walking <laughs> so yeah from vr and some cer certain types of filming applications I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen like behind the scenes where they have people walking on a treadmill to make it look like they're mm -hmm. walking in the background is just a video or something and the volume is just moving behind them like they're yeah. moving. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. So this, this hollow tile floor make that possible. Some VR applications for it as well. And you could also put a cup on it and have it roll to the other side automatically. It could be interesting for factories and things like that to move stuff around to just any imaginable way. And his, one of his patents made BB-8 come alive. Mm. So very cool stuff. Yeah, definitely. So Black History Strong. That's right. We got to send him one of our Black Batman Week plaques. Oh, I there it is, Mr. Benja. That's what we need. The bat behind us every time we talk. <laughs> Black <laughs> Batman Week Black. <laughs> That's what we said, people. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Get working on it.